Welcome to episode six of Upgrade My PC, please. On last week's episode, we had five AMD APU based systems in need of various upgrades, and you, the viewers, voted Vince's Potato Summer the most worthy of receiving the proposed upgrades. Coming Vince's way is a brand new Ryzen 3 1200 CPU, the ASRock B350 motherboard, eight gigabytes of DDR4 memory, a GeForce GTX 1060 graphics card, and the EVGA 500B1 power supply. So, basically a new computer. The good news for our four runners up, they will be receiving a Rainbow Six Siege game code from Ubisoft. Big thanks to Ubisoft for supporting the series and providing our contestants with free games. Once Vince gets the new hardware and has it all installed into his rig, we'll get some updated photos and we'll show them to you guys as a special feature at the start of next season. Also, don't forget to comment and vote each week as that will place you in the running to win some cool prizes, and those will be global giveaways. Last week, Thiago Perez from Brazil won a Ryzen 5 1600 processor. This week, we have another cool prize, and I'll announce that later in the video. For now, we have five PCs, all in need of various upgrades, so let's go check them out. All right, diving into it, we have Andrew's PC, which is dubbed Due Retirement. Makes sense. The 11 year old Q6600 has seen better days. That GeForce GTX 1060 is probably not really pulling its weight either. Anyway, the system in its current form or thereabouts was built five years ago from secondhand parts with the exception of the graphics card. The lovely and very retro Cooler Master Wave Master has seen three builds now. It started life with an Athlon 3500, then an Athlon 64X2 4200 plus, then an Athlon 64X2 5400 before going blue with the Q6600. Andrew now uses the system for image and video editing, but of course enjoys the odd games such as R Factor 2, Borderlands and Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'm sure he'd also like to enjoy some newer more demanding games as well, could he actually play them? The only requirement here being that we do keep the Wave Master case, and honestly, I wouldn't dare replace such an old beauty. What I will do though is replace that crusty old LGA 775 platform. We have at most 380 pounds to play with, so we will be stretching the budget to the max on this one. The best option right now for Andrew's needs would be the Ryzen 5 1600 on the ASUS Prime B350 Plus with eight gigabytes of DDR4. I'd love to upgrade the graphics card as well, but rather than opt for a lower end Ryzen CPU, I feel like going all in on the R5 1600 will pay off for that image and particularly video editing. Should Andrew win, he can always upgrade to something like a GTX 1060 in the future, and that'll set him up nicely for gaming. It's my boy Blue. Uh, actually, it's Blue Lightning opportunity missed there. Anyway, Owner Mitchell is a fellow Aussie, and despite rocking an old Core 2 quad rig, it's actually quite new to him. Believe it or not, this gaming rig was built this year. Of course, it was done so using second-hand components, probably very second-hand, and they were purchased on eBay and Gumtree. This is Mitchell's first ever PC build, so a big congratulations to him. I just hope he didn't spend too much on the components. <laughs> anyway, right now he is playing Rust, Rage, and Minecraft. What he's looking for in an upgrade is higher frame rates and faster boot times. Aren't we all? He would, though, like to stick with a black and blue theme for the build. I like that he's quite particular about the small details. As this is purely a gaming system, I propose we go about things a little differently. For this one, I suggest we opt for the Intel Core i5-8400, it's an absolute beast of a gaming CPU, and with six cores it will look after Mitchell for a long time. Here in Australia, the ASUS Prime Z370P is a cost-effective option, and it meets our colour scheme requirements quite nicely. On that, we'll also throw 8GB of DDR4 memory. The rest ends on Mitchell. Should he be able to save up for something like a GTX 1060 and maybe an SSD, this would be an absolutely rocking gaming system. The platform could even see a number of GPU upgrades in the future as well, so there's plenty of room to grow and expand with this platform upgrade. David built his Core 2 quad system back in 2009 to play Trackmania United and Call of Duty. Back then it sported a GeForce 8800 GTS which was replaced by a GTX 260 and then a GTX 560 and now it has a GTX 770. While still an avid gamer, David has shifted his focus towards content creation and video editing, so he spends a lot of time in Premiere and Photoshop. Apparently though, Photoshop crashes quite regularly and it's making getting any real work done very difficult. Then when David's done trying to get some actual work done, he does like to play Fallout 4, Skyrim, and Oxygen not included. 
The cable management on this one is a complete disaster, and David blames the Antec 900 case. There's simply nowhere to put all the cables, he says. The priority, though, for the $500 US budget will be to improve the Photoshop and Premiere performance rather than his cable management. So here we have another UK-based contestant in need of a Ryzen 5 1600 build, and again, I'll go with the ASUS Prime B350 Plus with 8GB of memory. The GTX 770 will now perform much better, so that in itself will really boost the gaming experience, while the R5 1600 will breeze through productivity workloads with ease. The next system was built by Bruce back in 2008 for the sole purpose of streaming YouTube videos and, of course, playing games. After a horrible experience with an insanely expensive pre-built from Alienware, Bruce decided to build his own. Unfortunately, after spending big on his custom-built rig, the one that you see here, Bruce did fall on tough times and has been struggling ever since. Originally, the system came with a VisionTech Radeon HD 3870X2, but that card ended up failing, and oddly, I had the exact same make and model, and mine died as well. Anyway, a good friend came to the rescue when he upgraded. He handed Bruce his R9 390, so that was a seriously good score. Armor 3 plays extremely well on the new Intel Core i5-8400, so this is what I propose we go for, along with the MSI Z370A Pro with 8GB of DDR4 memory. Then to really get his PC up to speed, let's drop in Crucial's MX300 275GB SSD. Should Bruce be lucky enough to win, he'll think he's just received some kind of alien technology. Francis was gifted this computer seven years ago by his girlfriend's father. At the time, it couldn't have been more than three years old, and with a $1,000 QX6850 under the hood, that's a seriously nice pickup. Since then, he has replaced the original GTX 650 Ti with a GTX 1050 Ti, and he's also purchased on the site a Corsair case and Cooler Master Cooler, as he plans to slowly upgrade every part in the system. This is, though, against the approval of his girlfriend, I'm told, so that's a bit awkward. Maybe she's hoping Dad will come through with a Core i5-5960X rig or something like that. Anyway, the new Corsair and Cooler Master bits have been purchased, so hopefully Francis isn't currently single. That'd be a shame if he missed out on that future upgrade path. Right now, he's only using the system for gaming. He does play D3, which I have to assume is Diablo 3, and given that the other game is World of Warcraft, I'd say I'm probably right. However, the hope is, with the upgrade, to get the system up to speed so he can play games such as Overwatch and PUBG. Apparently, load times are a major issue for the games he's currently playing, and those WD green drives aren't the snappiest choice for a boot drive. So for this one, let's go with the Ryzen 5 1400 on MSI's really nice B350 Tomahawk with 8GB of DDR4 memory. Then I propose we demote the WD Green hard drive to secondary storage status by dropping in the Crucial MX300 275GB SSD, and that will see us use every last dollar in our budget. With this upgrade though, PUBG and Overwatch won't be an issue. All right, guys, there's five Intel relics, all in need of various upgrades. It's now your job to let us know which one you think is the most deserving of receiving our proposed upgrade package. To cast your vote, follow the link in the video description. That'll head you over to the TechSpot forums. By signing up for the forums, commenting, and voting, you'll also go on the running to win some cool prizes, and those are global giveaways. Also, don't forget to like and comment on the video. That really helps us out. The winner from last week's episode is Fernando Vilches. Congratulations, mate. You've won an awesome Ryzen 5 1400 processor from AMD. So you'll have one of these coming your way shortly. Finally, voting will be open till Friday night in the US, and that's Saturday Arvo here in Australia. Then I'll announce the winner of this week's episode at the start of next week's episode at which point we'll have another five PCs to check out and we'll do it all over again. I'm your host, Steve. Go get voting. <laughs>